Every day, hundreds of miners work at the heart of Mount Ijen, a volcano in East Java, Indonesia. Their job is to collect sulfur that solidifies at the crater of a volcano on the edge of one of the largest acidic lakes in the world, with water capable of eating through metal and dissolving clothes. For us, the volcanic landscape looks really harsh, but we have to understand that for thousands of years, the people of the area have considered volcanoes as a main part of their identity. I think that no matter where we are, and despite the barriers created by the geography or the language, we all have stories that relate in one way or another. With the new Lumix S-Series camera, I was able to follow the miner's journey as they ascended the volcano with their heavily laden baskets. With a continuous focusing tracking mode, I was able to select a distinct point on the frame to achieve focus lock, locking in on them around every corner and onto their every movement. The new S1 works seamlessly in the rugged volcanic environment with all the durability and weather sealing that you expect from Lumix. With its weight and sturdiness, a bright electronic viewfinder, joystick, intuitive operation is extremely tactile and fits perfectly in the hand with real comfort. It feels just right, like a real tool. This form of mining, a Mount Ijen volcano, is on the verge of change. Over the last 10 years, thousands upon thousands of tourists have climbed the same path to witness the miners at work some miners have left their craft, lured by the high returns of tourism and an easier life. As the sun goes down and the light begins to fade, it's a comfort to know that you have a camera that is perfect for low light photography. I was blown away by the low light image quality, accurate color rendition and the detail the high resolution sensor was able to capture of the miners and rugged landscape at high ISOs. I was able to see the detail in the billowing smoke, the blue flame of the burning sulphur, and details in the stars above. I was able to follow the miners with autofocus precision, reliably locking onto their shape as they worked through the night. And using the 50mm lens, I was able to capture all the detail in the wrinkles and folds of the skin of the miners, so pronounced after years of working under the most challenging of elements. It's always a balance of connecting with people, letting them know you were there to learn about their world and it's a privilege to be given a window into their lives.